I got into an accident. Oh, oh my god! Don't yeah. lie. I will. <laughs> recently got into my first ever major car accident and today I'm here at Jackass to send Smurf in. Very sad because he is injured. So I've been working with Affinity ever since October 2020 to share with you guys about their services. So I've talked about their car servicing. I've also talked about the car concept service that I really, really love. As a satisfied customer myself, it's only natural for me to return back for car repairs because they know the car very well and I also know them very well and I know that I can trust them. So yeah, I hope you guys will stay safe on the road and be extra, extra, extra careful. This is my new car for the next one week as Smurf goes into the hospital. I'm actually quite shocked eh. They gave me quite a nice car. I'm gonna take care of you well. I am now in my replacement car. Um, I know a lot of you guys are wondering like what exactly happened. Long story short, I got into an accident. Uh, I was exiting a highway just going straight, actually going at quite a slow pace, thankfully. Then a lady on my right suddenly decided that she didn't want to miss the exit, so she just cut into my lane and a collision happened. And honestly, if you guys have gotten into an accident before, this is my first ever major one. Like, I was so shaken. I really did not know what to do. So the first thing I did was actually very funny, not to call Matt, not call my dad, but I called the Affinity Concert by Jack Cast team. So I was just like, Shame, I got into an accident. And she was like, oh, don't worry, are you okay? And everything. So she told me to just drive down to the Jet Car Service Centre, which is here. They really guided me along the way, you know, as everything about the insurance claims, where to go, who to look for. They made a few calls for me as well. Arranged everything for me and just told me to come back down today to get my replacement car. So I'm like really eternally grateful because if I were to do it myself, honestly, I don't even know where to start. You know, when I got into the accident, I was just like very, very embarrassed lah because I was just like, okay, I know I just got this car not that long ago and I ruined it. I felt really bad. They were like, oh, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. It's actually a concept service. If you are super busy or if you don't want to affect your schedules, you can actually get your car swapped or replaced with a replacement car at your convenience, wherever it is. They can just drive it down to you and just swap it out for you. I have my... Prius for one week. I promise to not trash it and we'll come back to see Smurf in good condition again. Going to lunch and they're eating the bread that I bought for them. <laughs> Yummy? It's good. So this one is from Corfi. You know, I keep raving about it but it's non-sponsored. I wish they would sponsor me because I spend so much money on them, on them like all the time but I tried the cheesy garlic one. It's very nice. You save entry, the best stress. Okay, pass it, pull your mask. Whoa. Bye! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm very clingy. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for some nice food and I've been craving for Pikes Begin, but Pikes Begin is just here. But then when we came here, we saw this new place and all of them are like, I don't mind. I don't <laughs> mind. I'm like, okay. Yeah, oh, we are. I hope it is as nice as Genki, but we shall try. So the prices are... I think they're quite affordable, I guess. Ooh, this is nice. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's a house of eggs. Damn cute! It's not like once you click your order it. Right? Right. 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 And this, oh. I don't know what it is, but it looks very interesting. I'm sorry. I'm like, what is it called? <laughs> I was just saying it was very nice. Okay, but we still have one left. And she sabotaged oh. it. <laughs> 
part of our job, we have to drink a lot of bubble tea. <laughs> but this is uh, Gong Cha's latest concept, which is travel the world with Gong Cha. You have eight different bubble teas in different countries. They are here at the Singapore's outlet. And if I have to recommend, I highly recommend this one. Thank you, my showgirl. <laughs> this is from Taiwan. It's the bamboo charcoal. Which one's your favorite? Okay, wait, I guess, I guess. I guess she likes the Tokyo one and she likes the Bandung one. Correct? Oh, it's it's like like okay, then what is, which one's your favorite? Yeah. Can you choose your favorite? Uh, Taiwan and mm. What is favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's very hard to choose, right? Okay, I help you choose. I choose the Tokyo one. Oh, what? Not Tokyo, you like NYC? Yeah, yeah I haven't tried that one. Oh. But I also drink the Tokyo one. Yeah, me too. Don't Yummy. lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, I'm a very milky girl, so I like, I like this better. My baby is back! Yeah, I'm so happy! Anyway, the entire thing they told me it would usually take about one week, but they called me back in just like four days, so really efficient. It was so funny because my affinity, the team affinity actually was WhatsApping me the progress of Smurf. It's just like how when kids go to kindergarten and then their kindergarten teachers will take photos of their kids and say like, oh your kid is eating well or sleeping well or something and that's what they did for Smurf. So I was just like, that's hilarious, but yep. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we come out, we have to eat Korean food. That's right. Because yeah. mom is secretly Korean. I wish. <laughs> we are at Kim's family. Kim. Kim Gan. Ka Chok. Kim Ka Chok. Kim Ka Chok. With the frosty S. <laughs> Morning! So today is a Saturday. Happy weekend! And I'm currently getting ready to um, head to Funan or Simlim to kind of look for some storage solutions because I'm always current, I'm always like running out of this space. Recently my skin hasn't been in the best of condition because it's been feeling really rough. I don't know if you guys ever experienced this but there are some days where your foundation just doesn't sit well. Uh, it just looks cakey no matter what you do and you just end up piling more and more and more. So uh, last night I did a full deep exfoliation which made my skin really sensitive so yeah it's a, it's a bad 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 day but today I am using the new Claire de Peau foundation. Let me get it. This one, which is the Taint Fluid Eclair Natural Radiant Fluid Foundation. Um, I'm giving it a go today and so far so good. Like you can't really see cakiness and it's very nice and hydrating on the skin. Eyeshadow, I'm using my NARS palette. I'm gonna go with a pretty natural eye look today. I need to get ready for dinner at the same time because I don't think we have time to come home. Finish look. I have a lot, a lot of lipsticks in my bag. Let's see what we have. First grab, we got these three. <laughs> I'm so excessive. So here are the six lipsticks that I found in my bag. Okay, so what? So I've got six lipsticks. First one is my Unleashed Non-Sticky Dazzle Tint um, in the shade 5. This one is really nice for like glossy days. And I've got another glossy lip. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip from Tarte. Shade number Grapefruit. All the glossy ones. Actually, I've got all glossy lipsticks. I don't know why, but I think recently that's what I've been quite into. We also have a YSL Rouge Velop Shine 124. Love this color. So pretty. Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Happy Petal. 
This is Hourglass Lip Gloss. It's in the shade Unreal Cosmic. So it's like, can you see it's like kind of hot pink, but it has nice iridescent shine. And lastly, Romance Omija Red. So this one is this color. It's a little bit on the darker side, but it also has a nice tint. Yeah. Time for dinner. Sarah and Sean just left my place. We spent the whole night playing mahjong and I won a little bit. Um, it was actually really, really fun. Okay, to be honest, I don't play that big. More often than not, it's really just for the fun of it and the company and like the conversations because you literally sit there for four hours just playing one game. So yeah, um, di di we had dinner tonight at Marcy's, which was this place that is kind of newly open, I think it's in Duxton. Um, the place was very beautiful, super vibey, like you walk in and you just immediately get transported to like the 80s or the 90s. A little bit dark and eerie, I would say, especially when you're walking to the toilet, but the food was chef's kiss, like so good. Um, I do highly recommend crab cake, that was actually really nice. Uh, I really like the broccolini as well, that's a great appetizer with a lot of smoky taste and their binchotan fish oh my god it's so soft i'm sorry i actually forgot to vlog right now when the food is so good you just forget to vlog because that's kind of the last thing on your mind <laughs> and that was how i spent my saturday so tomorrow i gotta get ready for korean class and church so i gotta go to bed soon but before that maybe i'll sneak in what episode i've been saying so i'm not sure but I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!